Hello again, YouTube viewers. Welcome back to the game known as Prey. I don't have a lot of time to talk, or stand around talking anyway. That's not the right way. I need those stairs. There is a woman dying, but not on my watch. Oop. Not on my watch. Fine. We'll go around this way. You didn't see a thing, you stupid aliens. That's right, we saw in a cutscene a pair of... This is a problem. Where am I trying to climb again? Ugh. Wasn't there a huge staircase going up from here? Maybe I imagined things. Anyway, guess what? I can't fight all these guys. No siree, Bob. I've got those engineering operators off our tail. Now, now let's look at this again. Well, well, there's supposed to be a huge staircase around here I could climb. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, you know what's an other thing we could do is fix this if I had the spare parts right. Well, I guess we're going to have to get creative in our climb back out of here. You two again. Some mighty fine shooting there, Tex. Okay, well, I think I can just... If I just get over to that side, I can cross over there and... Now, how did I get to up there again? Just to shake off these freaking uh, technopaths. I don't know where you came from, buddy, but uh, you who came into the wrong gunfight. Let me tell you that much. Ow, 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 ow. Holy cow. Oh, no. Somehow I get the feeling this elevator is not going anywhere. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, well, we need to use these pipes to get out of here. I got this. I got this. Just watch. I, I can shake these boyos off. It's a good thing I, while I was running around like a headless chicken last time, I left this one blob here for me to climb. Yeah, I don't think I have what it takes to fight these technopaths right now, especially after I wasted, like, a ton of bullets trying to take out that one engineering operator. Oh, jeez, there's one patrolling right up there. Hold on now. Just gonna find one of these pipes to cross over to the other side, like this one. There we go, I think. Now our chances of escaping have gone up dramatically. Oh, great. Mimic. Still need to find a way to keep ascending, though. Don't know which way the mimic meant went. Don't really care. Come on. I'm not gonna make that jump. Um, except we might. Now we're back down here. That's not good. How did I flip that techno path? No? Okay, fine. Yeah, so last time we had an exciting episode where we got the freaking... Uh, power station shut off and rebooted. Now, our dear brother has kindly decided not to lock us off again because he's going to tell us the truth. I was honestly wondering, like, what's stopping Alex from just locking everything down for a second time since the last time that he deigned to uh, lock the place down. But apparently he's like, you know what, I'm not going to bother this cat and mouse game, so let's not do this. Also, last time, as you may recall, I got the f finally a mimic 
uh, I'm not a mimic, a Typhon upgrade, which which has pushed me past the threshold where the turrets leave me alone. Okay, hold on. Ah, blindsided by a mimic. So now, basically, I need to watch out for even the turrets that aren't attached to these damn techno paths. Um, because even those will try and shoot me. The upside is now there's really no point in me not investing in... Um... Oh, cool, we can climb up here. Good. So now I just get up, up to this point where we were a second ago way faster. That's good. Because... Uh... Adios! Goofball. Uh, hold on, just get it up here. Oh, wow, it worked. I didn't think that would work. Except now where do I climb? This this staircase again stops right here. Damn, I, and I thought coming down here was the hard part. Okay, maybe I should have stood there like a sitting duck, but, uh... <laughs> ah, man. Have I mentioned this game has gotten really, really hard? From just being, like, semi-hard to, like, oh boy, it's hard. I guess I should be fighting maybe these, uh... Somehow fighting these technopaths? Uh, but I can't figure out how I should be doing that. Um... Yeah, adios, buddy. Can I? No. Okay, there I think I can continue. If I can just reach that staircase there. Nope, I can't. Hmm. So yeah, the upside is that I really don't have any reason not to... Uh, There we go. Look at this. Coming up with these bridges on the fly. I have no, uh, no down. I have no reason not to invest in more Typhon skills. Is what I was getting at. So, oh jeez. So, so like for example, the next regeneration. I'm pretty much gonna get that one next. I feel. Seems like an obvious choice. Okay. Escape the techno pass. I'm kind of beat up though. Um, I'm gonna use one of my med kits at this point. There we go. Because th this. Careful, Maybe I can help you. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. Ah oh, man, there was a medical operator right here. I forgot all about him. Should I? Oh, I I want to conserve my equipment. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna go back one more time and do this because. There's a medical operator right there. Mm. I guess I should be living with my failures, but uh, I'm so resource starved at this point. I don't really want to. What the? Oh, there we go. I was like, I, I did this climb last time. Ah. Scary. And now. There we go. Man. I might make it without getting shot by that uh, ominously hovering blob monster over there this time. No, why am I doing this? It's not worth it. I'll just run off. Ow. He beamed me. Let's see you chase me through here, buddy. So long. Yes, please do. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor. Gas alarm, right, okay. Now they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. Oh, cool. That's uh, great. Great, great thing to know. You know, maybe I'll just go the this way, okay, Michaela? You cool with that? Okay, you, you just hang around there for a second. I mean, what else are you gonna do, I suppose? Did I raid this med bay already? I did. Yes, of course I did. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. 
No, I'm good for now, thanks. That last one really hit the spot. So yeah, we need to find her medicine, is the one thing we need to do. Man, okay, man, I, I really need to step up, if I'm gonna be doing this, I'm really to step up my game of bantering while playing, because my dialogue was very spotty there, I was focusing on the game. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna invest in some mm, Typhon skills, particularly the regeneration one is an obvious pick, regeneration two. Um, Maybe some of those like projectile powers would be nice to get at this point, or I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And uh, yeah, um, microgravity detected. I once again I. Ugh, there are cystoid ne nest. Hold on. Let me just. Do. There we go. That took care of that. I once again checked online at howlongtobeat.com, how long this game should take. The average time to beat just the main story is, uh... Is, uh, 15 and a half hours, so we should actually finish it up today. If everything goes as it should. Now, it's not going to go as it should, though, because... I've taken a long time dilly-dallying, shilly-shallying in this game. And on top of that, um, I've done a bunch of side quests and stuff, so we're not going to be done today. I know that much, but we must be getting close to the finale here. And if we look at the map, like, if we consider that um, all of these are kind of a level, we're starting to be kind of done with all the levels. Um, there's, I think there's like one I haven't been to yet. Hold on. Shuttle Bay's one, obviously. But apart from that, there was something... Talos One Bridge is one that I haven't been to, which I guess is where we're gonna meet... Uh, meet our uh, dear brother Alex there. So it looks like this telepath is guarding that... Uh, that uh, way into the office. Let's load our gun. Works pretty well in space, this uh, beam of ours. Damn. I was thought my bullets would be enough to energize him. What? How did he do it so fast? Fine. We'll play it your way. See, I thought I'd conserve QB ammo by... Uh, thought I'd... Conserve Q-beam ammo by finishing him off with one of our skills, uh, some of our uh, other guns, but um, you know what, let's just use this kinetic blast to blow him up. After he's suitably excited, of course. Ah! No, wait, I- Psy nullified? How is this possible? What got me this? Mm. You, know, you know the other thing that I find... There's so many things I just find which makes this game really difficult. I have not figured out how to avoid enemy projectiles in this game. It just seems to me that uh, they're always like tracking and they have a huge area of effect. Oh no you don't! That did, like, nothing. You son of a... Not this time. There we go. What the... What is... Is that science operator the one that's been wrecking me all this time? Because someone's been getting me in the back like a mofo. Or is it all the cystoids around here? No. Okay, I need to deal with the science operator, wherever he's popping from, before I deal with the telepath. Apparently he's the one that's uh, sniping me. Ugh, oh, space combat. And those must have been attacking me as well, those cystoids. There you are. 
Ah! Yeah. And now we get away because it's gonna pop. Uh, we did it. All right, good. Dang it, I could have used those spare parts. Well, that's one of those skills we could pick up, is the spare parts skill. Right, so that freaking swarm of cystoids is what bops me, but I just don't know how to deal with cystoids either. Ah, oh, man. I'm so the wrong person for this game, aren't I? Well, I'm kind of the right person. Oh, good, I'm side nullified. Oh, perfect. See, that must be the cystoids that get me, because I don't, I'm not sure what's hitting me once I get close to him. Unless he's just, like, projecting some sort of field of hurtiness. Hazardous atmosphere condition. I sh suppose I should also fix my suit up real quickly. Alright, now you and me, we are going for a ride. Uh, now he's like, oh, no, you don't. And I'm like, oh, yes, I do. Ah, direct hit. Okay, he does do some kind of weird AoE. Okay, so I can't beat him in melee, apparently. He just, he, it's not even those cystoids. It's doing some sort of weird AoE effect when I get close. Unfortunately, I really don't have the weapons to fight this guy with. I need to excite him and then, like, blow him up, basically. I, mean, I guess I could just try sneaking in there, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. This guy's too good. Oh, I forgot to load! Oh, shit! I, I can do it again for some reason. Okay, buddy. Ugh. Really? Well, I got him in the end. I think that's the best run I'm gonna have against this creep. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh. No. No! Go away! <laughs> Boy, I sure hope there's some medicine in there for me as well. Oh yeah, of course there's a freaking cystoid nest in there. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What, the cystoids are still alive, are they? Morgan, this is Dr. Igwe. Admit it to your office. The hell are you doing in my office? In here until... Dr. Igwe. My word. What are you? And why are you speaking in Morgan's voice? I am January, Morgan Yu's personal operator. Well, January. Sorry. Your arrival was a bit... Quite a day today, you know. If you are referring to a typhon infestation of Talos 1, you are correct. Ah, oh no! I... Yes. It's... Wait. Is that fabricator functioning? I might be able to make use of it with your permission. Oh. Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Hey, what are you doing at my station? Manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the Typhon. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. Uh, well, that's actually cool. I guess I guess we'll go see what he's got going. But first, I gotta save Michaela. You got them, didn't you? How did you know? Oh, you make me so mad sometimes. You never listen to me. Okay, this has to have been the most uncomfortable space mission I've been on yet. Okay, where? There it is. Get back inside. Wow. These cystoids. It is really hard to pick what enemy I hate the most in this game. <laughs> so many of them have so many annoying qualities. 
it's actually interesting. I've again avoiding spoilers, but I've read some of the uh, people's impressions of this game. One of the most frequent comp complaints about this game is the enemy variety that the enemies are boring. Uh, I I see the point they're making. It's a whole it's a whole lot of um, black oily tentacle monsters and various iterations of those. So. And the occasional mind-controlled robot and human. That's um, not a lot of variety on top. I, I, I see where they're coming from. I think it's a fair point. I I guess I even agree a little bit myself, since um, some of these enemies are not exactly really, like, really, like, mind-blowing, I find. Are the other locks open, by the way? Before I go save Michaela. Can I get into... Okay, I can use these openings to get inside. For example, the Arboretum or Hardware Labs. Okay, cool. I might actually want to use that to get... That to get into Talos 1 Lobby, rather than... Adventure through that area. But first, Michaela! Michaela, I got it! Oh, God! Morgan, I... you surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck. Just the look neck. for the marks. <laughs> oh god, I can't. Oh no. Doing it myself. Shit, I, I can't watch this. Is it, is it, is it done? Oh god, I can breathe again. That makes two of us, Michaela. Oh, and wow. Feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah, not, I mean, nothing, no problem. I, I, ha I had to do it, right? Nice work, Morgan. <laughs> You'll make junior Hello. engineer yet. See you again, Dr. No. You. Get to the lift, but be careful. No telling what got stirred up in the shake. I'll follow when I can. Meet you at your office. My office? Okay, well that's where Igwe's at too, so I might pop in there as well. Um, oh yeah, we should look for Grant Lockwood. While I'm outside in space, that's also an option. And then I need to check in the Neuromod division to find the uh, tracking thing for uh, this um, creepy volunteer now this one i think was lost cause this one this one this one i can't do those i think we missed out on the cargo secret secret crate and it's secret treasures how many neuromods do i have six that's a lot where did i get so many in any case with this many i can get the new regeneration look at that up to 25 health immediately after taking damage I think that's a good deal. This one sounds good too. We could mimic like turrets. We could shoot up bad guys. Of course, we need to actually find a turret, and I kind of want to stay away from those at the moment. Oh, we could we could become an operator. That's neat. But the Typhon kind of want to beat up operators, don't they? Okay. Well, in any case, um, let's do the Grand Lockwood thing now. I'm There's sorry. Coming for you, isn't it? Morgan, you should run. Go! Morgan, okay. That massive typhon appeared shortly after you installed alien neuromods. Is that what's doing it? I won't warned you. Well I didn't realize that's what it meant. I how you would react to finding Michaela. You risked your life to help her. It makes Hello. me think the neuromod extraction you. didn't erase everything. Not completely. Perhaps particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions, intuitive feelings, or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to... I don't mean to be insensitive, but when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos 1, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station. Yeah, you could put it that way. Yeah, I, I honestly I thought about that, but I couldn't comment on it. Um, is that uh, it, it's kind of... Uh... It's kind of grim. Again, I save someone while I'm planning to blow this place up. I really hope there's going to be some sort of third option rather than run away like a coward or blow the place up. So yeah, well, I, I do see the comp the complaint about the alien designs. Like, 
they're very similar. They, they don't even like, and even like in the bigger varieties, there's not like a huge variety. It seems to be various forms of floating blob which shoots balls at you. Microgravity detected. You gotta be kidding me. Hate those guys. Is the nightmare out in space? That's gonna be quite the little merry chase we're in for, if that's the case, now isn't it? Where's Lockwood, though? Hold on, now? Let's turn off... I turned on the tracking bracelet, but I don't see him in space here. I don't really understand. Was there supposed to be some sort of clue on his tracking bracelet as to where in space? Oh, well, I guess I I activated his tracking bracelet, but I can't track it yet. I sh what I should have done is go out into a, a Hey, it wasn't my idea. Four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Chief Illusion, please do not. Morgan, come up here when you get a shot. I'm coming. I like that we're building like some sort of like gang of NPC assistants now. And I like that there's like unique dialogue. Like, she like gave that quote warning us about the nightmare that was really cool when the nightmare started hunting us on top of that we got the um we got the uh, igwe there like talking with um, michaela presumably we would not have that had uh, uh igwe died in space I, I, so i think that's really fun that we get dialogue like that okay there's a cystoid right there cystoid nest i'm gonna have to fly this carefully yeah, eat shit, Nightmare. You ain't nothing. Come on. I found a satellite project dealing with remote psychotronic signaling. Huh? PSS X5. I think it could spoof a neural signature that matches yours. Plain English, you could use it to get that new Typhon off your back. Latest tech logs show the satellite was damaged, though. You'd have to find a replacement part. Okay. And that's in the hardware labs where we're going right now. Well, that is convenient. Yeah, so I guess for this Grand Lockwood, we would still need to go to security station and, like, put that tracking thing on to find him in space, which I can't really do at the moment. But if we ever, ever like, get the chance, I'll pop those on. Things I want to do is this. And this, I suppose. And, of course, this one. Meet... Alex in the Arboretum. Okay, so I guess the Nightmare is going to be more aggressive after me now that I've got so many Typhon mods in me. I didn't realize that would happen. Mm -mm. Go away. I hate you. I hate you so much! Okay, we made it inside. But I don't really... Going back to the whole monster design, I don't really see how you could do it better. Or Well, I, I, I'm sure there must be some ways, but like I, I don't think the answer would be to make more distinct monsters. The Typhon are supposed to be, feel alien to us humans, and they're supposed to feel like really alien. So the fact that they're all these weird blob monsters really adds to that. Making them more, like, unique would make them more personable, which would make them more understandable, I feel. Like, it would, I think it would eat up the credibility of this story if they were, like, big lizard people or the, the ganglion from, from Xenoblade X, for example. I think that would not be the benefit of this story if they were like that. Thank goodness that turret's broken. There's a poltergeist in here. You Where? Back in from outside, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now I can move free. You, not so 
much. Excuse me? The poltergeist's in here somewhere. There's a nice engineering operator there. Let's rumble! Well, honestly, this is an enemy I kind of like. Seeing as he he's not so savage in his moves, we can just fight him. There you are. Oh wow, this one's moving a lot faster than the previous poltergeist. Oh, or is there two of them? Ooh, lift field, cool. We'll have to check out what that does. I'm a bit tired. Sit down, slime ball. Music's still going. Peter Coleman. Did I never save this guy? Or not save, I never find his corpse then. Because I've been to hardware labs. Cheers, mate! Oh, I'm actually hurting. In terms of radiation. There we go. That helps a little bit. 